Well, calling all chocoholics and beer lovers, there's a new brewery tour getting ready to launch in Greenville, pairing local craft beers with chocolates. Jennifer Martin met up with the owner of the brewery experience to tell us how it works. Here in Greenville, the breweries are really scattered about uh, the outskirts of the city. It's more conducive to doing a driving tour. But nobody was doing it in Greenville, and I felt that the time was definitely right for it. Hopping from one upstate brewery to the next, one beer lover is about to hit the road and invite you along for the ride. So they're going to be able to meet a lot of the, the brewers and the owners at these breweries to be able to hear their story. Called the Brewery Experience, it's a new beer tour of upstate breweries. We'll pick you up right from your hotel, uh, your apartment, your house, and take you out on the private tours. The public tours will have a public meeting space. Owner Gary Glancy brings over a decade of experience. I am a certified Cicerone, which to the normal person, they don't know what that means, but basically it's the beer equivalent of a sommelier for wine. Typically it'll start at the month old Upstate Craft Beer Company. So what makes us us is the fact that we are a small batch brewery and we're constantly rotating our beers on tap. And continue to the Swab Rabbit Brewery and Traveler's Rest and Greenville's oldest brewery, Thomas Creek. We typically will have at least 11 beers on tap. With beers like the Peachy Fancy Pants, at Brewery 85 you'll see how they marry southern culture with German brewing techniques. We give we have two pieces of glassware. We have a really kind of like a, just a mason jar and we have a um, really nice goblet. Like I always say a little bit of class, a little bit of trash. And amazing views. They have the nicest uh, sunset in Greenville. At Quest Brewery, you can try some of the brews that have put them on the map, like the coffee stout. It really put us, I feel like, you know, on the, on the radar with, uh, you know, the, the beer connoisseurs and folks that are looking for those, you know, very extreme flavors. And usually all these come with snack pairings. But this weekend, tours are kicking off with chocolate from Asheville's French Broad Chocolates. We'll be able to give samples of the chocolates, pair them with different beers, and then talk to them about why, this may be sacrilege to wine drinkers, but why beer is actually more conducive to pairing with um, chocolate than wine is. For a perfect Valentine's Day treat. For Scene on 7, I'm Jennifer Martin. The brewery experience is available to give its first private tour tomorrow and we'll start giving public tours next Wednesday and Saturday. To sign up, we've got a link for you over on our website.